Hey, Mint Valley, it's Mrs. Alice. Here we are for another class meeting, and it is Monday, May 11th. So we are going to be focusing on some new skills because it's May. We finished up with empathy with our last few meetings and learned lots of things about how to show empathy. And now we're going to move into how do you show, how do you have a growth mindset? I know if you were part of Mint Valley last year, we talked a lot about growth mindset, and we're going to continue with that. I have a new book to share with you on growth mindset. But before I do that, let's do a quick check-in. Let's see how we're feeling today. Um, looking at the zones chart, I'm a little blue. I'm kind of sad to see the rain come back and um, missing everybody. So just a little in the blue zone today. But I'm excited to share my new book with you. And, of course, also when we're in this state that we're in right now where every day is a little we're not sure what's going to be coming next and you feel if you feel upset or frustrated remember those breaths we've been working on very helpful so let's do a new one today we're going to do the butterfly remember the butterfly's wings open this way so as we breathe we're going to use those wings as our as our way of uh, monitoring our breath so we're going to breathe in and then out Breathe in, big belly breath, out, let's do one more, nice job, okay, so mindset, growth mindset, um, you're having to tackle a lot of new things right now, and learning online, not having your teacher right there to help you, having to work from home, parents trying to help you with things that they might not know how to show you what to do, and so this is a really important skill to be thinking about, having a growth mindset, thinking about each day not giving up, even when it gets hard and frustrating, okay? So this is a story about a girl who learns some things about mindset that I'm gonna share with you today. It's called Mindset Matters. It's by Brian Smith, and it's illustrated by Lisa Griffin, okay? I'll try to get the glare off there so you can see it. everyone, my name's Amelia, and I'm in second grade. My parents always helped my little brother, but Kevin, but today was going to be my turn. It all started with something that was supposed to be fun. Hmm. Putting up a new swing set. Just so you know, not an easy thing to do. I was getting really frustrated, so I threw my hammer down and shouted, I quit. Dad said, what's wrong? I yelled, ugh, building things is for boys and I'll never be any good at it. Dad told me I needed to have a better mindset. Very funny, Dad. It's called a swing set, not a mindset. There's nothing wrong with the swing set. It's me. I'm just not good at building things. No, honey, mindset has to do with what you believe you can achieve. Some people have negative mindsets and always come up with excuses. I call that a down in the dumps mindset. Other people stay with difficult things and find a way to get them done. I call that a gotta get it done mindset. So a down in the dumps is things like, I'll never be good at that, negative attitude, making excuses. A gotta get her done attitude is, I'm not good at that yet. Having a positive attitude and being determined. Dad continued, the first time I tried to build something with your grandpa, I smacked myself on the thumb with a hammer while trying to hit a nail. After that, it took me years before I really felt confident in building things. Throughout the whole time, I kept a Gotta get it done mindset. Ouch, it hurts so bad. If it, it wasn't if I was ever going to be good, but rather when I was going to be good at building things. Dad said, I know it can be frustrating, but there are some steps you can follow to try to improve your gonna get it done mindset. Dad said, you have a gonna get it done mindset. You should. Here's the things you need to do. Imagine yourself completing a task. 
If it's difficult, remind yourself, I may not be good at that yet, but hard work pays off. Number three, keep a positive attitude. And number four, keep on working until you reach that goal. Amelia, if you can follow these steps, you'll be on track every time you try something new, Dad said. So, Amelia, think about this question before you answer it. Are you going to be able to build this swing set? Pause for a minute before answering. Ness. What in the world does Ness mean? It means no and yes. It basically means I have no clue. No, Amelia, you need to believe in yourself and have a gonna get it done mindset. Dad smiled and said, when I ask you if you can build it, remember the steps we just went over. If you say yes, it doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but in the end, you'll stick with it and find a way to put it together. Let's try this question again. Amelia, can you build this swing set? Absolutely. This swing set doesn't know who it's messing with. Let's win this battle. Just give me one minute so I can go put on some of mom's makeup. Amelia, you don't need to get dressed up for this job. Dad had no clue what I was doing. After a while, I came out in the backyard with makeup that looked like war paint. It took us almost six hours to build the swing set, but we got the job done. I guess Dad was right about hard work paying off. Maybe there's something to this gonna get it done mindset thing. After all, Dad even suggested I take a quick brain break when I got frustrated. I wonder if all this could help me with the math. Hmm, that's one thing, no matter what I do, I'm always terrible at. I guess it's worth a try. The next day at school, it didn't take long before I got to one of those impossible math problems again. Ding dong, nobody's home, my brain's on vacation. My teacher, Mrs. Moody, could tell I was frustrated and came over to me. She asked if I'd ever heard of a gonna get it done mindset. Uh, yeah. Were she and my dad working as a team? Mrs. Moody asked what I could do to help get the problem solved. Mm, I could look on someone else's paper. Oh, nice try. But that's called cheating, she said. Think of something else. I wish I could have, but of course my mind went blank again, so I just laid my head down on my desk. Mrs. Moody talked to me more about having a gonna get it done mindset. She reminded me of the steps and helped me come up with some ways to help the situation. Remember the steps, imagine yourself completing the task. If it's difficult, remind yourself I may not be good at it yet, but hard work pays off. Keep a positive attitude. Keep on working until you reach that goal. I decided I wanted to work with Mrs. Moody. She showed me a few ways to solve the math problem and even drew a picture to show how to solve it. The following day, another one of those impossible math problems showed up again, but this time I had a different mindset. Boy, do I feel sorry for this problem, I thought. It doesn't stand a chance against me. I solved it right away and even drew a picture to prove my answer. When it comes to math problems, I'm going to get them done. I guess my teacher told Dad what a great job I did because right when I walked in the door, Dad said, hey guys, jump in the car. We're going to celebrate Amelia's great day at school. We drove up to some pond and Dad pulled out a bunch of fishing poles. Amelia, this is the place I take Kevin for special occasions. I've never been fishing, but I sure wanted to try. It didn't seem too hard. Dad threw the line out and I got and I got to pull it out, it in. Nothing. We did this ten more times and the same thing happened every time. Nothing. What was the point of this? Dad saw my frustration and said, just wait. All it takes is one catch and you'll be hooked. That's when it happened. As I was reeling in the line, I felt a huge tug. I fought and fought and fought. The fish was going to be huge. As I pulled it out of the water, Kevin yelled, Hey, nice stick. I couldn't believe I caught a stick instead of a fish. I hate fishing. I'm never going to catch a fish. I have no idea how to fish. 
Once again, Dad, talk to me about the gonna get it done mindset. Amelia, you don't know how to catch a fish yet, but if you stick with it, I think I can help. Dad told me I was pulling the line in too fast and needed to bait the hook without the tip showing. Soon after, I was posing for a photo with my first fish. This gonna get it done mindset worked again. That weekend was my brother's birthday. He got this really cool skateboard as a gift. It wasn't long before I had to step in and explain the gonna get it done mindset. I quit. Kevin tried to ride the skateboard three or four times but fell flat on his face every time. I hate this skateboard, he screamed. I quit. I talked to Kevin about having a gonna get it done mindset. He asked if I knew how to ride a skateboard. Not yet. But of course I fell several times, but I was not going to give up. Each time I stayed on longer and went farther. It wasn't long before I rode down the whole street without falling off. Right away, Kevin said, well, if you can do it, I can do it too. Now there's that going to get it done mindset I knew you had, Dad said as he watched me. By the end of the day, we could both ride as far as a football field. Dad was really proud of us. Hey, Dad, you should give it a try, I said. He jumped on the skateboard and immediately fell flat on his face. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Skateboarding's for kids, not adults. I looked at Dad and said, huh, wow, looks like someone needs to work on having a gotta get it done mindset. I'm glad I've got a gotta get it done mindset. You can too. So this week, as you're working on your schoolwork at home, or you're trying something else that's new, focus on that gotta get it done mindset. I'd love to hear how this works for you. You can comment on my um, Google Classroom page. You can message me. Take care of yourselves. I love and miss you all, and we'll see you soon.